Welcome back. Toronto's Tainomi Banks has been burning up the drag scene for over a decade. Her look, which is a tribute to iconic runway models Tyra Banks and Naomi Campbell, is both high fashion and fun. And here today to give us the key elements to perfecting a look is the one and only Tainomi Banks. Stage presence, you are known as Tainomi Banks. Off stage, you are Sheldon McIntosh. Is there a big difference between the two personalities? For people who are close to me, they could see that there's a big difference just in, um, I guess, I'm fun. As Sheldon, I'm funny, outgoing, like to joke around, but like Tainomi is this like magnification of that. So that's where I hit the stage, energy. I'm, I do anything. It's almost like I'm a superhero and like I, I don't have to apologize for it. Anything I do. What's wrong with being, what's wrong with being confident? Oh. How did you establish your look? How did it come about? Oh my gosh, like trial and error. I, I think that's the best way to do things, right? Uh, th this generation is blessed with uh, like online tutorials, but I didn't have that. I had like um, just our leaders in our, our village. The, so so uh, Michelle Ross, um, Safonda Cox, people like that who I literally sat with and was like, oh my God, how do you do this? Like, and with the help of like the, the drag race train, it just, it opened up doors dramatically. <laughs> Serving body, giving face, watch out Canada. I'm here to win this race. As soon as that show hit airwaves, I honestly, my, my path, my opportunities expanded. And I was just like, okay, the it girl. <laughs> A huge part of the performance in the act is that face. My goodness, Tainomi, that gorgeous face. You make me look like I just woke up. Like yes, I need to have, sure. I want some of these skills, sis. Can we start with how you put together this look? And I guess we, well, how would you start? So for me, I just had like a goatee yesterday. So <laughs> I just get <laughs> like literally I had a big beard yesterday. You just, you know, you shave properly and everything. Uh, so <laughs> moisturize that skin, right? Hydrate that skin. You want that skin. It makes for makeup application way easier. And then um, for me, I love small pores. So I'll use like a primer and get all in here, lotion here, my nose, forehead, and all here. I want my skin to look like, like marble. Okay, now we gotta talk about the <coughs> contour. That contour, okay. And again, I'm gonna say those Kardashians, they learned from us, okay? We're the masters of, let me tell you again, light and dark okay so for me because i have like a dark beard and everything i'll use like a darker foundation i do like a little i guess it's stippling mm -hmm. you just we call the beat the face mm -hmm. <laughs> you just want to beat that in because what that will do will give it like almost an airbrush effect with the foundation that you're using then what i do is use a darker foundation almost like it's like a dark chocolate but men have big heads we want ladies have petite heads mm -hmm. so Dark in here, dark in all this. We want to bring this in to make it look petite. Even here, I have an Adam's apple. Yeah. What I do is darken all here, bring the foundation into here, and stipple it out. Because from far away, there you go. Okay, let's go to, I think, probably the most important eyes and brows. Like, look at your eyes. So during my contour, I take like the light and I put it, and I kind of just find where my natural brow was and put all the, the white cream under here. And then on top, I use like a brown cream to create my brow. The lower the brow, the more feminine. If you, I could do it like arched and higher and it would give me more that drag, that drag look, but I like a nice womanly eyebrow. Mm -hmm. And then I set everything. So my brows would be like a little bit faint. You could barely see them. Then I start my eyes. And so yeah. I almost put like a white concealer and I just kind of, with my finger, go all over this eye. And then I start with a little brush like this. Mm -hmm. Dab the color and then start and then create that shape. And my brow right here, that's, you could feel the bone on yourself. You, see, you feel that? Yes. Yeah. And I just put the darkness. And what you want to do, the rule of thumb is always light to dark because you want to open your eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the supermarket and getting those oranges. I'm picking up a man. That's the kind of thing I want. <laughs> right. Okay, lips and lashes, girl. Lips. So the corners, 
the darken in here, dark, dark, all these corners. So this part of my lip will be black, blackened, blackened, blackened. And then mm -hmm. I just do a little line. And mm -hmm. for people with petite lips, mm -hmm. overdraw. Overdraw a little bit and it gives it a nice thing, a nice pout. Then yeah. just go right over with this color. Nice. Pouty pout. Ooh. Oh. See? Ooh. Lashes, do you go all out? For me, once you put the lashes on, you're full transformed. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like these, this to me is a natural lash to you. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's big. <laughs> I'm like, these are small to me. Like, like. <laughs> They're pretty. Yeah, I just like, just nice. For, <laughs> I usually wear big, big lashes where it's like, oh God, like those are really <laughs> And I'm blinking and a tornado just happens to fall upon you. Exactly. That's, that's drag. And you're like, oh yes, I'm sitting in front row. Um, okay, I feel like there's only one thing left and that is the attitude. And you have it. You have to have that to complete the look. Am I right? No, the diva is what makes the whole thing magical. <laughs> just snap, snap, snap. Okay, girls, thank you. Out. <laughs> Love you, Ty Naomi. Your energy is off the charts. Thank you. Thank you. Love you.